Okay, today I'm going to um, show you uh, how to reproduce a race condition and how to um, get around it, how to stop a race condition from occurring. Um, so to to show um, to show you what a race condition is, I'm going to create a a really simple logger class, uh, and all it's going to do is just log a message with um, so log message, and it's going to just take a string as a parameter. And the only interesting thing about it is it's going to have a message number. So in the logger we're going to have a, a message number set to zero and um, yeah I'll just, I'll just keep it nice and simple to start with and, and so we're just going to do a print a message and the message is going to be the message number message number followed by um, a space followed by the message itself s uh, that's it that's all I'm going to do uh, so in in main I can quite happily um, invoke that logger and print my message which which I'll do okay so so that we'll create our logger Logger, uh, and then that logger is going to um, log a message, and the message is just going to be a a a. Uh, just run that. So there's there's our um, first attempt at a logger. Okay, so zero a. Oh, so there's a bug there. <laughs> so we need to change it to um, increment the message number. That's what I was meaning to do. So uh, message number. Plus, plus, and let's um, let's create three messages, sort of A, B, C. There's three messages, and hopefully they'll be numbered one, two, and three. There we go. One, two, three, A, B, C. Uh, right. So the um, so for a race condition, this occurs when you have uh, multiple threads accessing the same data. So what I need to do to demonstrate this is I need to create um, a couple of threads that are both accessing the um, the logger. Um, so to do this, I'll create a runnable class. This is going to run one of my uh, my threads. Runnable, runnable with two ends, uh, and then inside runnable, uh, we'll just have public void run. This is just a stand standard boilerplate stuff for multi-threading. And uh, we want to run, I'll create my logger, uh, logger, sorry, logger, logger equals new logger. And then inside this, I just I'll copy paste that code. I just want to take, I'll get rid of all this. <coughs> Put it inside my uh, runnable. We've already got the logger created, um, and let's try and run one single thread of, of this. So um, to do that, we just need to um, create an instance of my runnable. Oops. 
my runnable. Oops. My runnable equals new. My runnable. And then we create a new thread. Because new thread. Oops, new. with my runnable as a parameter. And then we can just start that thread. And that's it, that's just running one single thread. So that should be fine, let's just run that, and see what happens here. Doesn't like it, uh, what's wrong with that? So it's complaining about um, my runnable here. I think it's because I need to um, implement runnable here. Implement that interface. That should be fine if we go back here. There we go. So we should be able to run that now. There we go, one, two, three, all fine. So now let's try and make it multi-thread. That's a single thread. So we can very easily um, create, make it multi-thread. We'll just create two threads here, one, two, and we'll start one, and we'll start two at the same time. So it'll execute, it'll execute this block of code uh, concurrently. Let's go back here and let's run it again. So that's, um, I mean, it's kind of okay. Um, a, B, C, A, B, C, one, three, four, two, five, six. Nothing actually wrong with that. It's just firing all the, um, all the threads, uh, the two threads together and they're all getting jumbled up. Now the race condition we can demonstrate a race condition here by putting in a um, putting in a, a half a second sleep here. So if I just do, I just get it to wait for half a second before it um, prints the message. Let's run it again and see what happens. This is what it looked like before. Now, so we see the message numbers are, are getting uh, messed up. This is this is the race condition. So you have you've got two message number twos, you've got two message number sixes. So there is your race condition. Um, and the reason that's happening is because um, this uh, integer is being shared across the threads. Uh, there's one way of getting around this. It might not be the best way, but it's one way, and that's by using the synchronized keyword. Um, so all we need to do is when we create um, the log message, we can put a synchronized keyword here. Oops, with a Z, American. Synchronized. Let's try that again. So remember that it was two, two, four, five, six, six. There. Let's try again. And the synchronized, the synchronized keyword just tells Java to um, to make it thread safe. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's just a simple example of a race condition and one way that you can um, you can avoid it.